Hey guys, John here, and welcome back inside the toy room. Bam, 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 ba, da, da. So, we went to Big Red Toy Store, Big Red Vintage Toy Store in Tampa. We took my brother this past week, Thursday, Friday. We were back late Friday night. We left really early Thursday morning. We were back really late Friday night. And uh, for his preliminary tests, to make sure everything's good for his upcoming surgery. We have to go back next, this coming Thursday and Friday, maybe Saturday again. And then his final surgery will be February 5th, which is another Friday. And uh, he'll be in recovery Saturday and Sunday. And probably he'll be in the hospital recovering Sunday in Tampa during the Super Bowl. So that's going to be one hectic and busy thing. But, um, yeah, so two more Fridays, two more weeks of taking him to Tampa, and then he will be cancer-free. They'll cut it all out of him, and he'll be on the road to recovering from cancer. Yay! So good, so good. But while we were there, we couldn't resist going back and seeing Chuck at Big Red Vintage Toys. So awesome. And this time my mom came in with us and she was like overjoyed. She was remembering so many things that she used to find for us when we were kids. It was so cool. But what I picked up, here's my pickups. I only got a few small things. We did a bundle for all this stuff. And uh, Chuck was really generous, gave me a deal on some of these items. And um, I'm really, really happy. It's just neat to pick up a few small things that you want for the collection. So we got a sand person. Always need more sand people. I always love having more sand people. I can find a cape for him pretty easy, I think. But he looks okay. His head's got a little bit of scuffs on his silver parts. But the bandolier straps and everything look pretty good. He needs a wash. We'll clean him up. But he's pretty good. Can you see the COO there? I don't know if I can. For those of you who like to look at COOs, maybe you can see that. <laughs> Let's see if we can zoom in. We'll, we'll zoom in. Ugh. We'll see if we can zoom in on this. There we go. Hong Kong. GM General Mills. A General Mills Hong Kong. There we go. All right. All right. That's him. That's Sand Part People. Sand People. And then we have a Weequay. We got a Weequay. I always like having Weequay. Got a bunch of them now. But having one more is not a bad thing to do. Looks like he's got the, the LFL, Lucasfilm Limited, with the... Is that the Hong Kong on his other leg there? We'll zoom in. Yeah, HK. LFL 83. All right. Looks like he could do for a wash. His pants have a little bit of dust and dirt in there. But his head's pretty cool. Looks, looks, looks good. He's got some dirt there. We'll wash off. Scuffs on his fingers and toes, but that's okay for me. I mean, we threw him in with the, with the int. You know, we got to... Always got to get a couple figures when you get a vehicle, right? And got a claw to skiff. I don't have as many of this guy as I do a lot of the other ones. So I, when I see them, if I can throw them in on a bundle, I will do it. Get them for cheap. He's all right. His face looks good. Helmet looks pretty good. He's got nice coloring in his straps and everything. His hands aren't too scuffed up. His feet got a little bit of scuff, but that's okay for me. He's just a throw in extra guy, you know. So not looking for the top condition. And let's see what his COO is. He's got it right down here. So Lucasfilm Limited 83. Does he have any of the Hong Kong markings over here? I, I can't. There's something there, right? Or was it, or was it, is this one of those ones that was cut off? I don't know, whatever. Maybe that's all he has is LFL. And he needs a good wash. We'll clean him up. And then we have the INT4. It needs a sticker up top, a sticker in the back, 
but the side stickers are still pretty good. Look at that. It still works. I can fold the wings up and the wing stickers are still there. Pretty good. Landing gear is all right. The hatch works. I don't think there was anything in there, right? There's some thing in there though. Some, some, is that a Rice Krispie? I think I found a Rice Krispie inside my INT4. <laughs> so I got a Rice Krispie treat for free. I'm not eating it, don't worry. I'm not gonna eat it. But I need a nose gun. We can source a nose gun down, right? Can't we? We can find a nose gun. I don't know. I have no idea how hard it is going to be to find a nose gun. I really don't. And then we got from the cheese pile, Lost in Space, Cryo Suit, Dr. Judy Robinson with Magnet Attack and Bite Strike Spider. Look at that weird spider thing in there. He's got Bite Strike. You get that strange little yellow monkey that followed them around and jumped on their shoulders. She's pretty cheesy. Danger Will Robinson. He let me have this for $2, so I couldn't pass it up. $2. That's like just, <laughs> he's just like giving it to me practically. So I had to get it. I, I can't, I couldn't resist. I mean, I just couldn't resist. And then we have a couple GoBots. I got Jeeper Creeper. I love military transformers and GoBots. So trucks, trucks and military vehicles will, I will get for GoBots. I want the space shuttle GoBot. I really, really do. He's about this size. It's a mini bot space shuttle that I really want because we had him as a kid. And I got the seaplane water walk. I was looking at this seaplane online it was always $10, $15 plus shipping. So I would have spent probably close to $20. And I didn't spend anywhere near that for him from getting him from Chuck. So it's pretty cool. Let me put this in the um, tripod and we'll transform those guys. All right, Jeeper Creeper here. He's got his head that comes out of the back of the Jeep. Fold his hands, his arms out, and I put them up out of the way when I'm transforming this guy because these legs have to come out to the side. You fold this up and you, well, just get them off to the side. We'll do that first. He's very, very finicky. You don't, you want to be very careful with this guy. You don't want to force anything. But what you got to do is you've got to flip because his feet are going to be these seats. So you got to get them straight across here and then flip it this way a couple times. And then you want to bring his legs down to form his feet. So he's going to be like, um, there we go. Hello guys, I'm Jeeper Creeper. I don't creep on you. You don't creep on me. But I'm the Jeeper Creeper. There we go, Jeeper Creeper. And then we gotta have um, Water Walk, the seaplane. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I would start with this, fold this up. Get that out of the way. His legs come down. You fold the little pylon thingies to make his feet. Pull them all in there. You can see where this is going now, can't you? You need to get these wings out of the way. We'll put them behind him. Look at that. And then you got these arms that come down. And we got the airplane guy. Hello there, I am Waterwalk. How are you doing? I wish you well in this new year of 2021. And if you need to go anywhere where I can land on water, well, you can't take me because I am a toy and I won't be able to fit you inside of me to take you there. So too bad. Water walk. There we go. Cool. 
So there we go, guys. The stuff I picked up over the weekend while flying around um, Tampa. <laughs> next, team, next time I go, if I have enough money, I'm going to get one of my Grail pieces. I didn't spend a lot this visit because I, I kind of screwed up with eBay. I didn't realize how the new system worked. And I was scared that the new system would put me in the negative in my account, my toy budget account. I have a, I have a toy budget account that I only use for toys. And when that money runs out, I don't spend my the account that I've got to use for bills and for, you know, savings and stuff, you know. Very careful with what I spend on toys. Have to be. And uh, my eBay account is linked to my toy budget account because the money I make from selling extra things on eBay, things I find at thrift stores and value villages and flea markets and garage sales. If I don't want it for my collection, I'll sell it on eBay. And that account goes to my toy budget account. And I thought it was going to go negative because of the new, the way eBay's doing, the eBay's taking care of the money. They're getting rid of PayPal in a sense. And it's like, I was afraid because they take the shipping out before you get paid. <laughs> so I thought it was going to go negative. I don't know. It didn't. It didn't. It ended up balancing itself out. So I could have actually bought something significant, but I, I wasn't, I wasn't sure how this new system was going to work. But anyways, I'm rambling again. Thanks a lot for watching guys. I'm John. I'm out of here. And this is what I picked up over the weekend. Thanks to Chuck at Big Redhead Vintage Toys. We'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.